for some reason there's this stigma with wrestling that we are trying to make it like it's real. That's the same thing with movies and TV shows, but no one ever says anything about that. A lot of people look at us as larger than life, and maybe for a few minutes we are, but we all have regular jobs and regular problems. I think we're putting on a performance, and what people need to know is that it's all a suspension of disbelief, and it's all a show. When they all say that the, the business isn't real, when we are not, you know, we were scripted bunch of pussies, they're wrong because, you know, I'm going out there with a torn arm tonight because I don't want to let these people down. I enjoy wrestling. If I lose a leg or something, I don't know if I can survive without wrestling. I have to do something in wrestling. So, you know, like they, everybody say, I'll be happy if I die in the ring. I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for WXW and that independent fed. And I know a lot of guys out there that also wouldn't be where they were at without the indies. There's a lot to say about ring psychology that you don't, they don't, they, they don't see it anymore. Like you don't see it in the WWE. You know, th this was an old school ring psychology. For some reason, people look at wrestling as the bastard child of art. And I don't know why, because we're doing the same thing that actors do. We're doing the same thing that theaters do. You know, we're just putting on a performance to try to make you happy.